All that shortly, but first to uh, the big breaking development coming in uh, right this minute. All 12 boys and their football coach have been found alive after nine days uh, of them missing in the Thailand caves. This is a miraculous rescue that has taken place in Thailand as the teenagers have been found alive after nine long days. The regional governor has confirmed that the players and the coach are safe. The 12 kids from a soccer team and their coach had gone missing nine days ago in a flooded Thailand cave. Uh, the boys aged between 11 and 16 and their 25-year-old coach disappeared on June 23rd during an outing to the Tham Luang cave which runs for 10 kilometers beneath the mountains in northern Chiang Rai province. This is a miraculous uh, rescue that has uh, taken place. Remember, after uh, nine long days of successive efforts, these were coordinated efforts that were being made not just by the Thai uh, Navy teams, but uh, by uh, teams uh, from uh, different countries who had uh, joined hands for these rescue efforts to try and rescue these 12 boys and their coach. Uh, these uh, 12 boys and their football coach have now been found alive this after nine days uh, of them missing remember they had gone uh, to the thailand cave uh, to explore uh, uh, the cave and had uh, then uh, gone missing the regional governor has confirmed that the kids are safe the 12 kids from the, uh, the soccer team and their coach uh, had uh, gone to visit that uh, thailand cave which then got flooded uh, the boys aged between 11 and 16 and their 25 year old coach had disappeared on june 23rd uh, this uh, during an outing to that Tham Luang cave. Uh, this runs uh, 10 kilometers beneath the mountains. Remember uh, various efforts uh, that had also been disrupted by uh, the uh, very fact that there's the complex network inside the cave that was flooding that was also disrupting the efforts by the various teams. Uh, but uh, it all ended well as uh, the, the young boys and their coach have been found alive after nine days. We are awaiting further details on what their medical condition is like. Remember, uh, there was an area inside the cave called Pattaya Beach where uh, uh, the authorities were hoping that uh, the uh, young boys and the coach had uh, stopped so that they could uh, at least... Um, drink water from that area which is known to have drinkable water and um, we will await uh, further details on what exactly transpired uh, and um, what the medical condition of these boys and their coach really is but this is of course a rescue effort a search operation that was being closely watched not just by those in thailand but across the world this is a miraculous uh, success that uh, the uh, rescue teams have achieved rescuing the young boys and the coach after uh, nine long days. These are some of the images that we are getting to you of those uh, rescue operations that have raised against time. Remember, there was a very small window of op opportunity that the rescue teams had and they have left no stone unturned to try and reach out to these uh, young players and their coach. After successive efforts and by coordinated operations uh, by the search and rescue teams, not just the Thailand uh, Navy unit, but also uh, by uh, teams from across the world. Uh, these are uh, the images that we're getting to, some of the images of those operations that have been ongoing for the last few days, nine long days of these search operations that have ended successfully. The divers uh, have been, uh, the divers have found the Thai team alive. Remember, these young boys and the coach had gone inside the cave to explore it and had then gone missing. Given the complexity of the cave, they were unable uh, to uh, reach out and they had been uh, deemed missing for nine long days. And after uh, massive rescue and search operations racing against time, these 12 players and their coach have been found. Let's tell you that um, these uh, operations were of course being closely monitored uh, not just by those in Thailand but across the world. Uh, this is a miraculous success uh, that the search operations have achieved.
these images that we're getting to you from right outside the cave where media personnel, teams from across the country, experts uh, uh, in uh, rescue operations have been gathering to ensure that they can uh, contribute to those efforts uh, which have now turned out to be successful. Uh, remember, it was a difficult operation given the complexity of the cave, given the fact that nobody knew where exactly and which part exactly of that uh, complex cave uh, these young players really were. It's been uh, nearly 10 days and the search uh, for the under-16 soccer team of Thailand has uh, gripped the nation over the last few days. Remember, it was on June 23rd that uh, the 12 boys and their coach had gone to explore that cave after football practice in northern Thailand. Uh, they had not been heard from ever since. It's now that in a miraculous turn of events, all 13 missing in the Thai cave have been found alive. About a thousand Thai soldiers and civilians uh, joined by technical experts from half a dozen countries had been racing against time, uh, making those uh, concerted, desperate efforts uh, to rescue the 12 boys and their soccer coach. And it's all turned out to be a success. They, are believed, uh, they were believed to be trapped by flood water in a cave in northern Thailand. Uh, the football team is believed to have entered that Tham Long cave on uh, June 23rd. It was meant to be roughly a five-hour long trek. Uh, but monsoon rains flooded several chambers and blocked the exit of the cave. And uh, besides some scattered belongings in the earlier chambers of the cave, there, there, have, there was no direct sign of the boys and their coach all this while. Uh, but rescuers uh, believed that uh, clinging on the Pattaya shelf would, be, uh, would have been the best chance of survival. Uh, of course, over the next few days, uh, further confirmations will uh, trickle in. But for now, a huge sigh of relief uh, coming in as all those 13 missing inside the Thai cave have been found. Prayers have been pouring in uh, over the last few days from across Thailand, from across the world, as uh, there was hope that all these 13 uh, players, 12 boys and their coach will be rescued from the Thai cave. Vigils were organized in schools and temples across Thailand and different parts of the world. And the mystery over the disappearance has uh, finally come to a miraculous end as all the 13 um, members of that soccer team have been found alive. These were 12 players and a coach who had gone to explore that uh, Tham Luang cave in Northern Ireland. But uh, their uh, exit was curtailed by heavy rainfall. Monsoon rain had then, uh, had then entered uh, the complex uh, chambers of uh, the Tham Luang cave there. Rescuers believed that clinging on to the Pattaya shelf, which is a part of the cave, uh, would have been one of uh, the better chances of survival. Uh, there were uh, several uh, efforts that were being made, not just by the Thai uh, Navy unit, but by uh, teams from as many as half a dozen countries over the last nine days, close to 10 days, to ensure that uh, every effort is put in uh, so these uh, players are rescued and they have been found alive now. This is a miraculous turn of events. Uh, remember, prayers had been coming in from across Thailand, from across the world. Uh, there were uh, hopes that uh, this uh, rescue effort will turn out to be successful and that is exactly what has happened now. This is a rescue operation which involved the Thai Navy and Air Force and, uh, uh, and teams from uh, as many as half a dozen countries. They were experts who had also gathered from different parts of the world, volunteering to contribute in any way possible to ensure that these players are rescued. Now, these players are believed to have been trapped by flood water uh, in, in that cave. This is a complex chamber, a complex uh, network inside uh, the cave, which, uh, of course, uh, added by a monsoon rainfall, had uh, resulted in a complex rescue operation. On June 23rd is when uh, these 12 boys and their coach had gone to explore the cave uh, after football practice. This was just like any other day when they decided to explore uh, the cave there in northern Thailand. 
and they had not been heard from since. It was uh, nine days and running. Uh, the relatives and family members of the players had been uh, camping right outside the cave, waiting for any piece of information that comes their way, any indication of where exactly the players are inside the cave. But they have been found alive. This is a miraculous turn of events, exactly the miracle that many from across the world were hoping for. Remember, all through the last few days, there have been images coming in of those concerted efforts that were made uh, by joint teams from across the world who had uh, pitched in their very best efforts uh, to ensure that the players are rescued successfully. What we also know is that first aid and food uh, have been provided to those uh, players. Uh, the governor has confirmed that the football team in the cave have been found safely. And uh, all the 13 missing have been found alive. That is uh, a huge sigh of relief for, of course, the family members and the relatives and friends of those missing, but also for uh, many across the world who have been uh, jointly, who have been uh, closely monitoring any update coming in on these rescue operations. Let's take a listen in to what the governor had to say. เอ่อมองผู้เสียหายเอ่อมองสูญหายทั้งสิบสามคนนะครับจากการรับรายงานล่าสุดเป็นวัยซีลที่เข้าไปในทะแหลงคนไข้ผ่าเอาตัดที่